And my daughter really wanted to meet you. <laughs> That's Jackie Jaffe's fourth grade daughter, Allie. She just wants to be involved in what mom's doing. Thing is, that's also what would often happen during mom's virtual work day. I'm teaching first grade in the Reynolds School District at Alder Elementary. She'd come running in here. She wanted to meet my kids. It just became very clear that if we could have our own separate spaces, that would be good. Because she says it didn't feel safe yet to work physically in the school building, this is now her workspace. A tiny teardrop trailer her family got for camping trips over the summer. It took a little adjusting. Where I blew the fuse because it's plugged into the house and we didn't know like just how much it could take. But that's all been ironed out, and Jaffe says she's starting to get into a groove. Is there somebody else who has an idea? Still, like we've heard from other teachers, things are not easy. I've got kids who have not done any work at all, so I really don't know where they're at. I've got a couple who've only been online once or twice. And one of her students hasn't said a word in class since the beginning of the year. That's despite logging into class every single day. I'm worried. I mean, this is a population I'm worried about anyway, in general. That's because she says many families at the school are low income and underserved. They were already struggling before the pandemic. We've got a lot of kids who are just not ready. They're just not at grade level. But Jaffe says there are some positives. Sometimes she can better gauge if a child needs more help on a certain subject. And I hear mom feeding him the words. <laughs> so I know he's not there yet. The other piece that I like is I can literally keep two or three kids online and work on a skill that they need. At this point, she's just rolling with the punches. <laughs> We're rolling as we can. <laughs> that teardrop trailer is working out pretty well for Jaffe, so well that she plans to use it through the winter. Christine Pitawanich, KGW News.